but over here it's different. Since Comrade Harris took over the border, there has been a 43% nationwide increase in violent crime and a 60% increase in rape. And the FBI should be ashamed of themselves when they report numbers because they, in order to keep the violence numbers down, they didn't report some of the worst cities in the country like Chicago and others. What a, what a disgrace. The FBI did that. In New York this June, an illegal alien released into our country by Kamala approached two 13-year-old children with a machete in broad daylight in front of other people, forced them into the woods, tied them together by the wrist, and raped them over and over again. Over and over again. Two Kamala migrants were just arrested for the rape of a 46-year-old woman in Coney Island. I know Coney Island very well. That's where I sort of started. My office was out there. Brooklyn, throwing her to the ground and raping her with a knife to her throat. One of them had previously been arrested for raping another woman, but instead of being deported, he was released into our country and told to enjoy your life. In Fort Wayne, Indiana, a woman who was offered a ride home by two illegal aliens was instead kidnapped, held down and raped, then driven around while the illegals discussed how they planned to kill her. They wanted to kill her. They didn't want to have a witness. And she miraculously escaped by throwing herself out of a rapidly moving car, was badly hurt, but she escaped, at least. Those people came from another country, and they were very violent with an unbelievably violent background. Violence like you've never seen. In the Bronx recently, an illegal alien who Kamala set loose into the country approached a 36-year-old woman while pretending to ask for directions before he wrapped his arms around her throat, pinned her down on a park bench, and raped her publicly on a park bench. And she said, he wasn't trying to rape me. He was trying to kill me. In Michigan earlier this year, an illegal alien broke into a residence and sexually assaulted two young girls doing tremendous damage to these two young, beautiful girls. In Virginia, a few weeks ago, a 54-year-old mother of four was leaving a convenience store when she noticed an illegal alien trying to steal her car. When she tried to stop him, he ran her down, ran her over, and left her dead on the ground. She was dead. And her family is devastated. In Texas last month, in a Venezuelan illegal alien criminal let in by Comrade Kamala shot a female police officer multiple times with a rifle. And uh, she'll never be the same. And that's being nice about it. A few months ago, I met with the devastated family of Lakin Riley, a 22-year-old nursing student who was out for a jog on the campus of the University of Georgia when she was assaulted, beaten, and horrifically murdered. Kamala Harris let in the illegal alien animal who murdered Lakin. This monster was in Border Patrol custody, under very strong custody. They didn't want to let him go. But under Kamala's policies, he was set free to kill, and that's what he did. Kamala let this bloodthirsty killer go free. And then he murdered beautiful Lakin, number one in her class, nursing school. Everybody aspired to be like her. She was the best student, the best everything. Beautiful.